Welcome everybody to the short video tutorial. This afternoon I'm going to be showing you how to use some standard CAD functions. I have a guest with me in my very humble studio. Please introduce yourself, guest. Um, Dylan is a, CECO, a, a, a second semester student, civil engineering student. Um, also doing drawings. Welcome, nice to have you here. Let's get started. This afternoon I'm going to demonstrate the offset command, the extend command, the fillet command, the trim command, and the explode command. In order to demonstrate that, I'm going to draw in a road center line between a number of properties. So let's get started then. The first step I'm going to take is by determining the width of the road reserve boundary. In order to do that, I'm going to measure the distance between the properties using the measure command. Let's hope it works and I measure that distance and I see it is 10 meters. I look down in the dialog box at the bottom of the screen and I can see it's 10 meters. Do you see 10 meters? You yes, sir, absolutely. Yeah. Let's repeat that process in the other road reserve and I see that that dimension is 12.1176. I suspect I measured that one at a bit of an angle. Let's try it again. I have a feeling it's supposed to be 12 meters. And there we go, 12 yeah, meters. Okay. No problem. So I push escape to clear that command. I'm now going to use the offset function to position lines centrally in the road reserve. So let me go ahead and choose the offset command, which looks a bit like a cloud. There it is. I'm going to select the offset distance, and it's going to be 5 meters because I want the road in the center between the boundaries. I type in 5. I select the boundary I wish to offset and position it and offset it into the direction I want it to go. Push escape to clear that command. I'm going to repeat that process two more times. At the bottom here, I'm going to choose the offset command, offset, specify the distance 5. Oh, it didn't work at all. Nice. Try again. Offset, specify the distance 5. Notice that my cursor is turned into a little square. Select the property boundary, specify the offset direction by moving my mouse in the direction I want to offset, and then pushing escape to clear the command. One more time for this road, this road reserve. So offset, specify the distance, this time 6 meters because the road reserve was 12 meters. Oh, okay. There we go. And it is. Easy done. Well, that doesn't look much like a road center line. I think I'd like to use my next function, which is the extend function to complete the lines. So I'm going to choose the extend command. The extend command is hidden behind the trim function. Okay. Mm, easy, huh? Um, eh? Wouldn't have found that. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, in order to use the extend command, I need to select the line I wish to extend, which is this line here. Okay. Extend the line I want to extend it to, the boundary of the extension. And I'm going to repeat that down at the bottom here. Um, apologies for my mouse and AutoCAD lagging. Something seems to be wrong today. Once I've selected all the relevant lines, I'm going to right click and then click on the end I wish to extend and, and repeat that process. Good. So let's do that for the remainder of the lines. Let's start at the back here. So once again, we choose extend. I select the line I wish to extend, the boundary I wish to extend it to. Wow, this computer is slow. Right, right click and then click on the ends I wish to extend. As easy as that. Last time, for good measure, choose the line I wish to extend the boundaries I wish to extend to, right click and extend. There we go. Easy done. So uh -huh. that's a provisional road center line. You'll notice though that I just have straight lines and I have these horrible little bits sticking out at the end. So that introduces us to the third command, which is, sorry, the, the, the third command, yes, which is the trim function. So the trim function I use to cut off bits of line that I don't want to use anymore. It's currently hidden behind my extend function. Select the trim function. Follow the instructions. It says select objects. So I'm going to select the lines I wish to trim. This one and this one. I right click and I simply select the pieces I wish to cut off. Escape to clear the command. Let's try it again at the bottom here. Trim. Select the line. Select the line. Right click and cut off the bit that I don't want to have anymore. Good, so now I have a nice neat line with no bits, pieces um, extending further than they should. 
So the next command I'm going to use is the fillet command. The fillet command will enable me to draw in a curve between these two straights. I'm going to choose a curve with a radius of 15 meters. So let me go ahead and select the fillet button, which is in the modify group. I now need to specify a radius, and I specify a radius by typing in the command command R for radius, enter, and then typing in the fillet radius. You're getting this? Yes, sir. 15, yes, sir. enter. I then select the two lines that I wish to fillet, line one and line two, and you'll see that a radius of 15 meters has been drawn between the two lines that have been filleted. Wow. The final command for today's tutorial. What did you think of that? Oh, it's, it's impressive. So yeah. <laughs> it's working like a magic. Yeah, it is magic. It works. <laughs> so the final command we're going to look at now is the explode command. And we use this when a, a line, for instance, a polyline has been drawn. And polylines are fa fabulous because they treat various line segments as a single line entity. This is particularly useful to us because if we draw a polyline, we are able to look at its properties and measure such things as length. So I know, for instance, that that line is 109 meters long. Alternatively, if I had to draw a polyline, let me just delete this polyline. Notice also if I select any portion of the polyline and push delete, it deletes the whole polyline. So let me draw another polyline as if to measure the boundary of an object. So the polyline in this case is going to close on itself. Right click, close. If I now select the polyline, notice it selects all the line entities. If I right click, go to properties, you will see then that not only do I have the length of the perimeter, which is 178 meters, I also have the area, mm -hmm. which is 2002 units. Now, because I'm drawing in meters, the units are going to be 2,002 square meters, which is very useful if you're doing stormwater planning or just measuring areas for paving or anything like that. Um. But let's say that I don't want the polyline to be a polyline anymore. Maybe I want a series of line segments. How can I go about doing that? Well, the function I use is the explode function, which is always exciting. We like to blow things up. So here it is here. This little square with the sides popping off. I select it. Select the object I wish to explode. Notice it selects the whole, the whole object. Mm -hmm. Left click, right click. If I now select any portion of the object, you'll notice that I only select that particular line. Well, thank you very much for participating in this short video tutorial. Any last comments from your side, sir? No, I find these functions very interesting and very useful. They are really to die for. <laughs> thank you very much. We'll see you again soon with another video tutorial on basic AutoCAD functions.